hour revision. Mm -hmm. 867. Mm. Okay, one moment. 867. Mm. Okay, so let's start. Okay, here we go. First question. Why is it that in a thunderstorm, we first see the flash of lightning and then after a delay of a few seconds, hear the thunder? Why is it that in a thunderstorm, we first see the flash of lightning and then after a delay of a few seconds, hear the thunder? In a thunderstorm, in a thunderstorm we first see we first the, flash see of lightning, the flash of lightning and then after and then, a, delay a, a delay of a few seconds, of a few seconds hear the thunder, hear the thunder because, sound because sound travels more slowly more than light. In light. Very good. When does a camera need a flash to be able to produce a clear image? When does a camera need a flash to be able to produce a clear image? A camera yes, needs a, camera a needs flash. To be, able to, to be able to produce a clear image, a clear image when there isn't when there enough isn't natural, enough light, natural light, light or when the lights or when the light inside a building, inside the building aren't, bright enough. aren't bright enough. Very good. What am I doing? What am I doing? You're you making, a signal making a signal for someone to, for stop. someone to stop. Do you always get a good signal on your mobile phone? Do you always get a good signal on your phone? Yes or no? No. I don't no. always get, I don't always get a, good signal a good signal on my phone. On my phone. Very good. Is it easier to slide a heavy object across a floor if we first put a blanket or sheet under it? Is it easier to slide a heavy object across a floor if we first put a blanket or sheet under it? Yes. yes. It's easier it's to easy slide a to heavy slide object, a heavy object across, a floor across a floor if we first if put, we first put a, blanket a blanket or, sheet, or, under or it. sheet under it. Very good. Have you ever actually seen anyone slip on a banana skin? Hmm. Have you ever actually seen anyone slip on a banana skin? Yes or no? N no. I've never actually I've never seen, actually seen anyone, slip anyone slip on a banana skin. On a banana skin. Yeah, only on TV. Very good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do we mean by onomatopoeia? What do we mean by onomatopoeia? By onomatopoeia, by, uh, onomatopoeia we mean the connection, mean the connection between the sound between the and, sound the, meaning of, and the meaning of a word. Give me an example. Give me an example, please. The car crashed, the car crashed into the traffic into lights the traffic and lights broke them. And broke them. He crashed the, he piece, crushed of the piece of paper in his hand, in his and, hand threw it in and threw it in the bin. Threw it in the bin. Very good. If you heard a crashing sound outside your house in the middle of the night, would you get up and go out and see what had happened? If you heard a crashing sound outside your house in the middle of the night, would you get up and go out and to see what had happened? Yes or no? No. If I heard if I a crashing heard sound a crushing outside sound my house outside in, my the, house, middle of the, in night, the middle of the I night, I wouldn't get up I wouldn't and get go, up out to and see go out to what see what had happened. What had happened? Very good. Okay, next. What am I doing? What am I doing? You're crushing, you are crushing a, piece of paper a piece of paper in your, hand. in your hand. Do young children enjoy splashing each other in swimming pools? Do young children enjoy splashing each other in swimming pools? Yes. Yes. Young children, young children enjoy splashing enjoy each other each in other swimming pools. In swimming pools. Very good. What do we use a saucer for? What do we use a saucer for? We use a saucer, use a saucer to stand a cup to stand on, a cup on in order to in prevent order to any prevent of the liquid any of the that liquid might collect and might collect round the bottom round the of bottom. the cup. Of the getting cup, onto the getting table, onto the table or, tablecloth or tablecloth and leaving a mark. And leaving in the mark. Very good. Do the police store files on known criminals to help them fight crime? Do the police store files on known criminals to help them fight crime? Yes. yes. The police store the police files store on, known file criminals on known criminals to help them fight to crime. Help them by crime. Very good. Do you manage to keep all the files on your computer carefully organized? Do you manage to keep all the files on your computer carefully organized? Yes or no? No. I don't manage, I don't to, keep manage to keep all the files on, files on my computer carefully organized. Carefully organized. Yeah, neither do I. Okay. So uh -huh. What makes the color in cloth fade? What makes the color in cloth fade? Sunlight, Sunlight and washing. And washing. And make the color, and make the color in cloth fade. In cloth fade. Cloth fade. Cloth fade. Very good. One more. Sunlight, Sunlight and washing and washing can make the color, make the color in cloth fade. In cloth fade. Very good. Which are quicker to do up and undo zips or buttons? Which are quicker to do up and undo zips or buttons? 
zips, zips are quicker, zips are quicker to do up and to undo, do up and undo than buttons. And button. Very good. What happens to a knot if we don't tie it tightly enough? What happens to a knot if we don't tie it tightly enough? If we don't tie we don't a tie knot tightly, knot enough, tightly enough, it will eventually, it will eventually come, undone. come undone. Which verb do we use to describe the feeling that somebody wishes they could undo an action they've done? What, well, which verb do we use to describe the feeling that somebody wishes they could undo an action that they've done? We use, we use the, verb regret the verb regret to describe the, to feeling, describe the feeling that somebody wishes, that somebody wishes they could undo, they could an, undo action an action that they've, done. that they've done. They are regret. Okay, when someone faints, how long does it usually take for them to regain consciousness? When someone faints, how long does it usually take for them to regain consciousness? When someone when faints, someone faint, it usually it takes usually about takes about one or two minutes to regain their, to consciousness. Regain their consciousness. Very good. Why do some people buy big cars despite the fact that they consume enormous amount of petrol? Why do some people buy big cars despite the fact that they consume enormous amount of petrol? Some people, some people buy big cars, buy big cars despite the fact despite the that fact they consume they consume they consume, they consume enormous, amount, enormous of petrol amount of petrol because because they like uh, they like uh, driving big cars uh, because uh, at, uh, it's comfortable uh, to ra to drive uh, a car very good, and mm -hmm. especially big cars, there's a lot of space inside. Mm -hmm. ah, Spacious. Yeah. Very good. Okay, yes. next. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what am I doing? What am I doing? You're, You're clapping, clapping your hands, your together, hands together, together in applause in for applause something. For something. Very good. What does an audience do when applauding a singer or an actor on stage? What does an audience do when applauding a singer or an actor on stage? An audience, claps an audience claps and sometimes, and cheer, sometimes cheer when applauding, when a, applauding singer a singer or an actor on, on, stage. Actor on stage. Very good. Give me some examples of different kinds of blade. Give me some examples of different kinds of blade, please. The blade of a, the knife. Blade of a knife. Sword. Or so, razor, or razor, a blade of grass, a blade of grass, a shoulder blade, a shoulder blade, the blade of an the oar, blade of an oar, etc. etc. Very good. What's a cork made of, and what do we use it for? What's a cork made of, and what do we use it for? A cork, a cork is made of cork, is made of cork, and we use it, and we use to, it put to put the neck into of a bottle the neck of a bottle in order to stop, order the, liquid to stop the liquid in the bottle escaping. Escaping. Very good. What do we use to remove a cork from a bottle? What do we use to remove a cork from a bottle? We use, we use a corkscrew a cork to remove a cork, remove a cork from a bottle. From a bottle. Very good. If the staff in a shop were constantly rude to their customers, would it drive the customers away from the shop? If the staff in the shop were constantly rude to their customers, would it drive the customers away from the shop? Yes. yes. If the staff, if the in, staff a shop in a shop were constantly, were rude, constantly rude to their customers, to their customers it is drive it the, is customers drive away the customers away from the shop. From the shop. Very good. Are most trains in your country driven by electricity? Are most trains in your country driven by electricity? Yes. yes. Most, trains most trains in my country, in my country are, driven by, are driven by electricity. By electricity. Very good. What kind of things can we do in our everyday lives to care for the environment? What kind of things can we do in our everyday lives to care for the environment? To care, to for, care the environment. for the environment. We can recycle. We can recycle. Use less, use energy, less energy in the home. In the and home, avoid using and cars using too, cars often, etc. too often, etc. Very good. Are you able to concentrate in noisy environments? Are you able to concentrate in noisy environments? Yes or no? Yes. I'm able to, I'm concentrate, able to concentrate in noisy environments. In noisy environment. Very good. Okay. When we're using a comparative form, how can we communicate that the difference between two people or things is very big? When we're using a comparative form, how can we communicate that the difference between two people or things is very big? When we are using, when we are using a, comparative, a form, comparative form, we can communicate, we can communicate that the difference, that between, difference, difference between two people or two things, people or is, things very is very big by putting words, by putting such, words as much, 
as much, huh? such as much, as such as much, far, far or a lot, or a lot before the comparative. Before the comparative. Very good. Give me an example. Give me an example, please. My new phone, my new phone is a lot better, a lot than, better my last one. than my last one. Very good. And how can we communicate that the difference between two people or things is very small? And how can we communicate that the difference between two people or things is very small? We can communicate, we can communicate that, the that the difference between two people, between two or, people things or things is very small, with very small by using words by using such words as slightly, as slightly you know, such as slightly, such as slightly a, little, a little, or a bit. Or a bit. Give me an example. Give me an example, please. The weather today, the weather today is slightly, is slightly colder. Cold. Than yesterday. Than yesterday. Is China slightly bigger than England? Is China slightly bigger than England? No. No. China isn't, China isn't slightly, bigger slightly bigger than England. Than England. It's, far, it's bigger far bigger than England. Than England. Are you a lot older than you were two weeks ago? Are you a lot older than you were two weeks ago? No. No. I'm not a lot I'm not older. A lot than older than I was two than weeks I ago. Was two weeks ago. I'm a little older. I'm a little than older. I was. Two weeks, I ago. Was two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Is traveling by taxi much more expensive than traveling by bus? Is traveling by taxi much more expensive than traveling by bus? Yes. Yes. Traveling by taxi, traveling by taxi is much more, is expensive, much more expensive than, traveling by, than bus. traveling by bus. If a hairdresser cut your hair slightly shorter than you wanted, would you complain? If a hairdresser cut your hair slightly shorter than you wanted, would you complain? Yes or no? No. If a hairdresser, if a hairdresser cut my hair cut my slightly hair shorter, shorter than, I wanted, than I wanted, I wouldn't complain. I wouldn't complain. Very good. Is Russia by far the biggest country in Europe? Is Russia by far the biggest country in Europe? Yes. Yes. Russia's Russia by far. By far. By far. By far. The biggest country. The biggest in country Europe. in Europe. Very good. Do people feel great sorrow when that tragedy occurs? Do people feel great sorrow when a tragedy occurs? Yes. People yes. feel people great feel sorrow great when, sorrow a, tragedy when a tragedy occurs. Very good. And that's the end of our revision. Very good. Oh. Very fast and good pronunciation. Thank Let's you. start new work. Okay, so let's start again. Repeat. Fund of. Fund of. Very good. Okay, listen. The word fund of is an adjective. It means to like someone or something so much. You like it so much. For example, I like playing with children because I like them. I'm fond of children. I like to travel. So we can say I'm fond of traveling. Let's practice. Are you fond of children? Are you fond of children? Yes or no? Yes. I'm yes. fond of I'm children. I'm fond of children. Are you fond of traveling? Are you fond of traveling? Yes or no? Yes. I'm fond of I'm traveling. fond of traveling. Very good. Next, repeat. Carpet. Carpet. Rug. Rug. Mat. Mat. Very good. Okay, listen. The word carpet and rug are both nouns. The difference between a carpet and a rug is that a carpet is large, big, covering the whole floor of a room, whereas a rug is smaller and only covers part of the floor, only to wipe your feet. The word mat is a noun. A mat is something we put in front of a door to wipe their feet on before entering the house. Just put it there to remove the dirt from the shoes. Let's practice. What's the difference between a carpet and a rug? What's the difference between a carpet and a rug? The difference the between, difference a, between carpet a, a carpet a rug and a rug is that a carpet is, a carpet is large, is large, usually covering, usually covering the whole floor, the whole of, floor a room, of a room, whereas a rug whereas is smaller rug is and, small, only and only covers part of the floor. Of the floor. Very good. What's a mat? What's a mat? A mat. It's something, something we put in front of a door for people to people wipe their feet wipe on their feet before entering before a house. Entering a house. Very good. Next, repeat. Ripe. Ripe. Unripe. 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 Overripe. Overripe. Sour. Sour. Peel. Peel. Very good. Okay, listen. So, the word ripe is an adjective. For example... A yellow banana with only a few dark spots on it, on the skin, is ripe. A ripe banana tastes sweet. 
A ripe mango is yellow and it tastes sweet. Unripe and sour are both adjectives. Unripe is the opposite of ripe. It means it's not ready to eat yet. For example, if an apple is unripe, it doesn't taste sweet. It tastes sour. Overripe is also an adjective. For example, if the skin of a banana is already brown, it's overripe. If it has many dark spots, it's overripe. The word peel is a verb. To peel is to remove the skin of something, like a fruit or vegetable. For example, we peel the skin of a banana first before we can eat it. We also peel the skin of a mango before eating it. Okay, let's practice. What happens to milk if we leave it for too long before using it? What happens to milk if we leave it for too long before using it? If we leave, if milk, we leave milk for too long for too before long using it, before using it, it, goes sour. it goes sour. If an apple is unripe, how does it taste? If an apple is unripe, how does it taste? If an apple if an is apple, unripe, it's unripe, it tastes sour. It tastes sour. Very good. How can we tell if a banana is ripe or overripe without peeling it? How can we tell if a banana is ripe or overripe without peeling it? We can tell we can if tell a banana if is a ripe, banana or, is ripe, ripe or, overripe or overripe without peeling it without peeling by, looking, it, at by looking at the skin. The skin of, the skin a, ripe of a ripe banana is yellow is with yellow only few with only dark spots, spots, whereas the skin whereas the of an overripe, of an banana, overripe banana, banana is brown is or brown has many or dark, has spots, many on dark spots on it. Very good. Thank you, Pete. A point. A point. Position. Position. Very good. Okay, listen. The word appoint is a verb. To appoint means to choose someone to have a particular job. To be appointed means to be chosen for a particular job. The word position is a noun. It is a particular way in which someone or something is placed or arranged. For example, she was appointed as the new acting CEO. She is now in the top position of the company. Let's practice. Would you like to be appointed to a top government position? Would you like to be appointed to a top government position? Yes or no? No. I wouldn't like I wouldn't to, be like appointed to be appointed to a top, to government, a top position. government position. Very good. Thanks, repeat. Surf. Surf. Very good. Okay, listen. The word surf is a verb. It means to ride on ocean waves using a special board called surfboard. For example... If the sea is totally calm, it's not possible to surf because there aren't waves. It's best to surf when the waves are high. Another meaning of surf is surfing, the internet, to visit internet sites such as Facebook, Yahoo News, etc. Let's practice. Is it possible to go surfing in the sea is totally calm? Is it possible to go surfing if the sea is totally calm? No. It, yeah, isn't it isn't possible to go surfing, to go surfing if, the if the sea is totally calm. Is totally calm. If you were a company boss, would you allow your employee to use their work computers to surf the internet? If you were a company boss, would you allow your employees to use their work computers to surf the internet? Yes or no? Yes. If I were a, company, were boss, a company boss, I'd allow my, I'd employees, allow my employees to use their, to work, use computers their work computers to surf the internet. Very good. Thank you, Pete. Death. Death. Very good. Okay, listen. The word deaf is an adjective. A person who can't hear anything is a deaf person. For example, it's normal for people to become a little deaf in their old age. Let's practice. Do people normally become a little deaf in their old age? Do people normally become a little deaf in their old age? Yes. yes, people normally people become, normally a, little become a little deaf in their old age. In their old age. Very good. Next word is blame. Blame. Very good. Okay, listen. The word blame is a verb. It means to make someone or something responsible for something. For example, if a driver is drunk while driving and hit his car to the tree, he is to blame for the accident. Let's practice. In road accidents, who or what do you think is to blame more than anything else? In road accidents, who or what is to blame more than anything else? In road accidents, In road accidents I think, I think uh, carelessness is, the, is, is, to the blame is to blame more than anything, more else. Than anything else. 
Very good. Okay, so now let's move on to reading. Oh, okay. Okay, so our mm. reading is at stage nine, paragraph page 700. Okay, and our last head word was horrible. Okay, please start at head word anxiety, anxious. Mm -mm. Okay, uh, do you feel any anxiety 